So if you guys didn't know this, my birthday was actually a couple weeks ago. It was on June 4th. And for my birthday, my girlfriend actually made me something super cool. So I want to show you guys that and uh, give it a little testing out today. So without further ado, this is actually what she made me. Their little bottle cap lures. I'm not exactly sure how she did this. I'm not sure if she found this on Pinterest or whatever. But I think this is really awesome. So basically how she said she made it was that she drilled a hole right there and right there in the bottle cap. She bent the bottle cap and then she put little split rings on each of the sides that she put the hole in. And then over here she attached a snap swivel and over here she attached a treble hook. And I think this is just so cool and it's just such a thoughtful gift. I don't know man. I don't know where she found this. I guess on Pinterest or somewhere. I don't really search the internet looking for stuff like this. There's a variety of bottle caps that she used. But I just think this is really unique and uh, I'm actually pretty curious to see if these can catch fish. So basically the game plan for today is that I drove to this creek right here. I'm going to be walking up and down the creek and I'm going to be tying on these bottle cap lures and hopefully I can catch a fish here. But I just think this is pretty sick that I'm actually using a homemade DIY lure. Like it was just a bottle cap. It was trash. Something that somebody would throw away and the fact that it's now a fishing lure and it has the potential to catch some fish. That's just sick. So let's get out of here. Let's get down to the water and uh, see how these things do. All right, I'm gonna be starting off with this Bud Light bottle cap. It is blue, and I'm gonna try to cast it under this tree and uh, see if we can catch any fish with it. All right, I'm not sure that I quite like the action that this thing is putting out, so I'm gonna try to bend the bottle cap around and see if I can uh, make it have a little better action. So maybe this is a better presentation, I'm hoping. Let's see if we can get one. Not in a tree. Hey, there goes my first bottle cap. Rest in peace, Bud Light. All right. Let's see what we're gonna go with next here. Hmm. All right, let's see how good this Corona cap does. I have faith in the Corona more than I did the Bud Light. I see smallmouth jumping everywhere. Oh no, snag. Oh, thank God. That would've been too gone already. See, here's the problem. I know that there's fish in here and I see smallmouth jumping everywhere. These lures just do not have any good action to them. All right, so it just compacted the bottle cap a little bit more. Hopefully this will make the action better even a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. It's worth the shot, man. But I feel like if I catch anything on this, I'm gonna be very excited. I just want to catch one fish on this, man. That is it. Just one. Two lures down. That is not good. I just broke off yet again. All right, um, I start. I gotta start getting serious here. Not gonna lie, I thought this was gonna be one of the easier challenges um, that I've ever done, but it looks like that is not the case here. I'm gonna switch over now to this white and gold Miller Lite. I think the Miller Lite is gonna be our savior here today. Hopefully, man, we can get this fish. I've been out here for a good amount of time. I would just take anything that bites, man. All right, no more snags starting now. I thought I had a fish, it was grass. All right guys, that is the third lure that we have lost today. This is getting uh, a bit frustrating. Let me see how many more we have left. Looks like we have five left, so we need to make something happen pretty soon here. I'm gonna go to this Miller Lite lure again. This is a different one though. There's literally just no action whatsoever. I tried to pop this thing. I tried to uh, do a tap tap. I tried to just let it sink to the bottom. I tried to straight retrieve. Nothing just really wants just the bottle cap i guess the water might be too clear or the fish might be too smart all right time to keep moving i mean this first spot it looked just so good but uh nothing to write home about so we are going to have to keep on moving here oh my god did you guys see the small mouse just jump right in front of me i just need them to bite my bottle cap oh there's a fish let's go first fish of the day on the bottle cap so let me show you guys how i uh kind of rig this up here and just so you guys can actually see that this is on the bottle cap there you guys go it is the miller light one so let me get this guy off right quick okay so i am literally beyond happy i've been out here for so long trying to catch a fish so many different ways on this bottle cap lore and uh let me show you guys how i caught this guy this is a red breast sunfish it is actually a pretty decent fish this guy actually crushed it too and that was one of the first casts with this method so i'm going to throw this guy back right quick but thank you for biting the seriously now i can finally stop using the bottle cap lure i do not know after this day if i am ever going to use a bottle cap lure again like honestly the bottle cap lure is just not the wave but let me show you guys how i actually got hooked up on this i have a tiny bobber going down to the bottle cap lure which i crushed all the way and then uh, this is just kind of acting as my weight now. And I took out a little gold minnow. Bro, you do not know how long I've been out here trying to catch a fish. And I rigged it just like this through one of the treble hooks so that in the water it would uh, just sit like this and I could jig it like that. Yeah, yeah, you can call me a cheater or whatever. But man, these lures 
are just not the way i mean the action is not really all that all right so technically i completed the bottle cap lore challenge i mean this was honestly it was either a hit or miss so i even tried the bobber method again with the gulp alive minnow and it was just not nothing was happening so now i'm actually going to switch to some baits that i have some confidence in so overall the bottle cap lures are just really awesome i'm not sure if they're the best things to use for fishing i know i don't think they're really meant for fishing i think they're just there to be cool and uh i'm so happy that i caught a fish on one though and i'm also very happy that i have some left over i definitely would suggest you guys to go out there and try a bottle cap lure yourself um try to make it yourself try to fish it yourself definitely easier said than done but now i switched over to a uh, spinner oh right at the oh my god did you guys see that that was right in front of me this guy came up and nailed it dude first cast with the spinner dude that was so cool i really hope that got on camera dude this guy crushed it near the surface yet again it is another red breast sunfish these guys are just awesome fighters it's definitely a good population in this waterway hopefully we can get off of those start getting on some bass so as i said before my girlfriend made those bottle cap lures so let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see me try to make a lure it's not going to be a bottle cap lure oh there's a fish oh my gosh this feels nice what is this this is another red breast oh that's a nice small mouth dude holy crap let's go there we go that is our second oh gosh these things are so feisty once you get them out of the water all right there we go guys this is our second species of the day it is a nice little smallmouth bass i know i said it feels like a nice fish and it's always such a big fish and you guys always get on me for that but these things dude i'm telling you creek smallmouth and i guess just smallmouth in general these things fight so hard, especially on my light rod. All right, guys, well, there he is. You can see he has some little teeth on him, too. That is our second species of the day. It's a decent smallmouth. I'm gonna let this guy go right quick. Thank you for biting, my good sir. There he goes. All right, so I just switched it up. Next, I'm gonna be using this little Ned rig, and uh, hopefully we can get some more bass. I'm trying to attempt to get some bigger bass here. I'm trying to get rid of uh, all these sunfish bites I've been getting. My one concern with using this rig here is that I might get snagged a lot. Oh my god, I had a fish on. I had a fish on, he spit it. What was that? Yeah, that, that was definitely a small little smallmouth. Oh, there's a fish. Dang, he spit it too. What is going on here? At least we know the Ned Rig is getting bites. I think I just need to set the hook harder. Next bite, I'm going to set the hook way harder. There we go. There we go. Yep, just what I thought. Tiny smallmouth. All right, let that guy go right there. I'm actually really impressed with this Ned Rig. Every time I casted it, which was like three times already, it uh, got a bite pretty much every time. So uh, if you are coming to creeks, I would definitely suggest a Ned Rig. I'll show you guys in a little bit how I rig up my Ned Rig. Everybody has a... There we go. There's another one. Every cast, I'm telling you. Let him go. If you're coming to the creeks, try this Ned Rig. This is crazy. There we go. All right, I'm gonna let this guy go. All right, so basically this is all you need for the Ned Rig that I use. I use these little uh, Cabela's bed jigs. These seem to work pretty good. They're not too heavy, they're not too light. I get the three 32 ounce ones. This is probably not the best brand to use, but I just probably got it because it was convenient at the time. And then also on the Ned Rig, I put these Z-Man uh, Finesse TRD Canada Crawls. So I get these because I like the color. And these are also made with Z-Man Elastec. So if you don't know what Elastec is, it's this very stretchy material that floats. As you can see, if I bring it down here and I put it in the water, it just kind of floats up. That is exactly what you want. Because how you fish a Ned Rig is that the jig head is on the bottom, keeping this down to the ground, and you could hop it like this. And as you hop the bait, this floats, and it creates a uh, action that the fish just go crazy for. So I would definitely suggest if you're fishing for bass anywhere, especially smallmouth bass though in a creek like this, definitely try the Ned Rig out. So here's the action I was talking about. This hits the bottom, and you just kind of bounce it and this action is what drive the fish crazy so let's see if we can pull some big ones out of this creek here there's a fish it's coming right up it's a small one it's definitely another nice little smallmouth. oh gosh all right there he goes it's really so much fun fishing with this ned rig even if these fish aren't very big that i'm getting at the moment i still have a feeling that there's some decent sizers in here there we go Oh my gosh, dude, no way. That is a nice crappie. What the heck? On the Ned Rig? By fishing this Ned Rig, I never thought that I was going to catch one of these guys today. All right, this is awesome. I'm gonna let this guy go right quick. You all right, bro? All right, there he goes. There's a fish.
Decent little smallmouth. Another decent little guy. Oop. There he goes. All right, well, now I can officially say that today was a big success. I mean, we caught three species, we caught a lot of fish, and we caught a fish on the little bottle lure. I mean, it might not have been the conventional way to do it, but we still caught a fish, so it counts in my book. So now I quickly have to get back to my car. It is like really thundering now. Hopefully I can make it back in time before all my gear gets wet, man. It's like I'm racing time here. So as you guys can see, I got home just in time and I picked up some Chick-fil-A. So overall today is just a great day. All right, so we have some important things to talk about. So the other day we just hit 10,000 subscribers. This is just crazy to me. I was sitting there alone in my room. It was like 3 30 a.m i was on social blade just staring at the subscriber count it was just going up by one up by one up by one and before i knew it it just it just happened and, and, and to be honest it was just a really weird feeling it's not about how many subscribers you get it's not about the money you get on youtube it's just crazy that so many people click on my videos and enjoy them and want to support me in something that i love to do that is just that is just the craziest part about it as you guys know fishing is my passion now i might not be the best fisherman in the world but i still go out and i enjoy doing it that is why i make these videos and i try to make these videos as entertaining as possible so that you guys can enjoy the experience that I'm enjoying. So I just have to thank each and every one of you. It's just, it's really something crazy and I just never thought I would ever be supported by this amount of people. This is, this, this is crazy. Now, since I hit 10,000 subscribers, I am going to start upload more frequently. I'm not gonna say a number, but I'm just gonna put out as many as I can. You guys know how it goes. Sometimes you go and you don't catch anything. And sometimes you do a challenge video and there's not much footage of fish being caught. So sometimes it can be hard to keep these episodes good and entertaining, but I'm going to do my best to upload as often as possible and to get out there fishing. I'm definitely gonna keep at it with the challenge videos. You guys seem to really like those. I had a saltwater catching cook that was supposed to be uploaded the day that this is uploaded. However, funny story about that is that I filmed all of it. I had a great day out in the water with my dad. We caught a couple different species in saltwater out at the Indian River Inlet in Delaware. However, the fish that I took home to do the catch and cook with, I ended up, so I ended up cooking it and eating it and a few of my family members tried it and I filmed them. And that was around the same time that I was filming the crab video and I guess I accidentally deleted the footage of the fish cooking and eating it. So I am stupid and I make stupid mistakes, but this is all a learning process and now i know to double check if i am multitasking with videos uh the memory card to see what is on there and if i'm going to delete something that i need but yeah man i cannot thank you guys enough 10,000 subscribers is just it's really crazy so let's keep this rolling i'm gonna keep cranking out videos i'm gonna try to make the best quality content that I possibly can, and I'm going to go eat this Chick-fil-A. I think we had a pretty successful day. We caught fish on the bottle lure, we caught a bunch of different other fish on different lures, and we avoided the rainstorm, so I think that's a pretty good day. So again, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. This is just crazy, and um, yeah, man. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.